What is up guys? It's Bug here again today with another video for you guys. Sorry, it's been a while since I've put out a video. It's been super crazy at work. Check out these new fresh work shirts by the way. No, I don't have any for sale, but they're super fresh. Anyways, well, I have been busy basically. Um, I picked up a, a car. Um, we have this Toyota right here. Now, I still have, I still got the Cummins over there guys. Don't worry, Cummins is still sitting pretty over there. But I did pick up a little beater. Now I bought this car to keep miles off of my truck because it's already getting up there in miles and you know, just feels expensive and I'm freeway driving every day. So I figured I could just buy a piece of car, you know, it's a little beater and I can put a million more miles on it and you know, it's just, it's good on gas and I figured why not. But yeah, this is the car I bought. It's a Toyota Tracel or Tracel or Tesla, some shit like that, I don't know. And as you can see, it is not the prettiest thing to look at. It kind of hurts your eyes. That's probably why I'm squinting. But we got some paint missing there. We have, um, you know, some seats. I actually, I did clean it up quite a bit when I picked it up from the auction. And now this car was just, you know, this is this car was under a grand. It was a really cheap car. It, it does run really good. It's got the five-speed manual transmission, AC and stuff like that. Don't work. Brand new tires. Anyways, there is the new car I just bought. I'm sorry, it's not like a Lambo or something cool, but so for today's video, we are going to see if my 1993 Toyota Tracel beater car that has a whopping guys, a whopping. Are you ready for this? 80 horsepower okay we're going to see if my car will pull a full-size gooseneck trailer and I'm it's front-wheel drive it's got no power so I'm really curious we're just gonna set the gooseneck in the trunk of the car and see if we can get it to work I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work because the car does not have tow mirrors like my Cummins has that are flipped up but you know why why would you need a Cummins to pull a gooseneck if you can just use your little Toyota beater car. So we have my brother right now in the forklift getting the gooseneck pulled out onto the gravel or the pavement. We will set the gooseneck in the trunk of my car and we'll see if the old girl can pull it. If you guys think that this is going to work or if you think it's going to be a complete fail because I'm honestly I'm not sure yet. I feel like I might be able to move the trailer just a little bit. Anyways, if you think it's going to work or if you think it's going to be a fail, comment below right now and let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Hey you guys, I'm also starting another thing for all of my videos. So what you're going to do is if you want to message me a picture of your truck on my Instagram, which is BugBMX, I'll plug that right here. Message me a picture of your truck and I'm going to be featuring one truck in every video from here on out. So let's say, you know, you, it doesn't have to be the prettiest truck, it can be any truck, just one of your guys' daily drivers, something you have a lot of pride in, you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into, it's anything like that, DM me a picture of your truck and I will post it in the videos from here on out and everyone will see what you drive, your whip, and I'll talk about it a little more at the end of this video, but yeah, message me on Instagram for your, a way your truck can be featured on Bug BMX's vlog. Grady, do you think this is going to work? I actually have no idea. I need a yes or a no. I'm hoping so. Neck. So we're taking, we got the spare tire out and the gooseneck's probably going to fit over this pretty good. That should hold the gooseneck. Oh uh, man, I, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Will it fit? Oh yeah, so we're not going to get it on that like we, we're not going to get it on that like we wanted to, but we will get it in the trunk. All right, drop it straight down. Go. Okay, 
so we're having, we're having to do some fabrication to the trunk so we can get the gooseneck to fit. So we got a giant cinder block. We're gonna stuff in there. We're gonna drop the gooseneck down onto it. And then we will be good to go. Okay guys, we got the cinder block in, the gooseneck is in, and my car is slammed to its <laughs> Oh, that is so much weight on that trunk. Even after having the cinder block in, we have about like it like just barely any clearance probably just enough to see if this will even work so I'm gonna hop in the old hot rod now and I'm gonna see if my car could pull this as good as you know let's say my Cummins could all right guys just kidding we are not ready yet we are installing one more cinder block into this ride Alright guys, this bug here, you guys know me if you're following on the channel. Wish me luck. I really hope this car will pull this big heavy gooseneck. If not, you know, we gave it our best. I just keep rolling backwards. That didn't sound good. Might have to do another uh, another That's cut. Bad. You know what though, Dang, if you could if it could connect to there, then it might not slip yeah. off. Oh, uh, so this block it was too high. Gotcha. And then when it pulled, it just slipped. As you guys can see, that kind of was a fell. So we are doing some more. We're doing some more maintenance. Oh. We're gonna loosen this up, drop this some more, and then we're only gonna use one block, and we'll give it another shot. Now that we have dropped this down we are going to use a forklift to get it back into the trunk of the car and go for round two i'm going to give you guys one more view before i pull this giant gooseneck that is how squatted the car is right now i do not recommend doing this at home but here goes round two all right we're starting up the ferrari right here and we're gonna get we're just we're just gonna send it First gear. You need bags. made history. Forget the man landing on the moon. We just pulled a gooseneck with an 80 horsepower car. Look at that gap. Don't mind those bolt holes right there. But look at that gap compared to the back. That is, wow, that's just, I, I don't know if that's safe or not, guys. <laughs> All right, so now we got the idea of setting the e-brake and frying my front tires since they're pretty much just about off the ground and we'll see if we can get a little front wheel pill for you guys still gonna send it All right, so we did get one tire frying pretty good on the old Yoda. Here is the rubber all the way back here. Look, just caked onto this board I had from keeping my car rolling away on me. But wow, that was just that was just something else. Now it's obvious, guys, that this car did not pull this gooseneck as good as my Cummins would have. But you never know until you give something the shot. So. If you guys, anything in life that comes at you and you just, you don't know if it's gonna work or not, you might as well just send it and see if it does. But this is my example to the world and you know, basically being a guinea pig for you all. But there you have it, a 1993 Toyota Tracel pulling a giant gooseneck trailer. All right guys, well after that, I don't, I don't really have a whole lot to say. I mean, I'm kind of speechless right now, but there you guys have, you know, just a 
a little car pulling a giant gooseneck trailer. Don't forget that in I want you guys to message me on Instagram pictures of your guys' trucks. It doesn't have to be diesel, it could be gas, anything. If you want it to be featured in my future videos, I'll do one vehicle every video. So make sure you guys go hit up my Instagram, send me your vehicle, it can even be cars. So send me your vehicle and then I will feature it in videos from here on out. And just like that guys, this video is going to be coming to a wrap. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you guys a good laugh. It was all for fun. It's a, the car was a couple hundred bucks. So don't think I was just, okay, I was beating the shit out of it. But anyways, it was cheap. It was fun. I hope it made you guys laugh. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or have any other ideas, comment below on what you want to see. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. Peace.